Hey everyone, it's Teaser back with another video. So this is the original power board out of that game gear that I recently did a video on and repaired. I wasn't going to repair this, but something dawned on me. My AC adapter for plugging in only fits in this barrel jack. So the new power board uses a different adapter and I've been unable to find one that works with it. And part of the reason why I want this is it will allow me to plug an AC adapter into the say game gear when I have it disassembled so that I can hopefully isolate and repair the audio problem that I mentioned in my last video that I couldn't figure out before. Uh, plugging in batteries doesn't work because the console has to be well partially assembled to do that and I don't have access to the printed circuit board which is a real pain in the butt. So. I'm going to replace these three caps. I have new ones right here. And we'll go from there and see if we can get this working. Uh, according to online, this is usually all that's wrong with this. And I did inspect this board, and you can probably see it in the camera. It actually doesn't look all that bad. I mean, I can't find any damage on there. It looks pretty good, so let's just get these replaced. I'm going to make this quick and... We could test this and see if this is working. All right, so I got this in my clamp. It's loosely fitted in here, but it should be enough for me to at least get the solder off these uh, leads for these capacitors so that I can get them pulled out of the board. All right, got my fume extractor going and I'm just gonna use some solder wick and a solder iron to remove these. Well, the solder's so hard, I guess I gotta reflow the solder first. Oh, there we go. Look at that. And there's one cap out. Let's move on to the next one. There's two caps out, and then the third cap's right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this. In the current orientation, I might need to swing this around. Yeah, that should be good enough. So the final cap's right here. Throw some flux on there. Oh, these caps are swollen too.
this cap's a bit stuck in there. Looks like there's some corrosion. So let's add some more flux. Clean that up. I might have to pull this from the bottom. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do. Well, let's see here. I think I got a grab on this. Nope, still not coming. There's definitely a ton of corrosion underneath this cap. Now well, let's wiggle it back and forth and see what happens. Sometimes this is what you gotta do. Yeah, this definitely leaked. This is definitely why this board isn't working. Hopefully we don't have any permanent damage underneath here. All right, let's get this back in the vise a little bit. We don't need it too far in there. We just need it holding on a little bit. Let's try heating this again and seeing if we can pull this out or wiggle it out. Might still be stuck to the board on the front side. Oh yeah, that's 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 gross. I think we almost have it though. Feel the lead. Oh, yep, we got it. Okay. Well, that's disgusting. All right, let's clean this board up. See what we got going on here. This one capacitor right here might be where the only damage is. If there is any damage, I'm hoping there's not. It's unusual for these older boards to have damage from leaking caps because they were built so well. It's not like the new boards. And it doesn't look like this has any damage. Let's just continue cleaning this up a little bit. Get the other side clean too. You can see there's a bunch of corrosion in here. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Yep, those capacitors definitely leaked. Let's just go in here and do a little scrubbing here with some IPA and a Q-tip. And I don't know why this is touching my hand. That's let's get a new one. That's just disgusting. All right, let's take a look here. That looks really good. I don't even need to look at that under the microscope. I think we're all set. We do have some discoloration right there on the left. 
hole, but I, I think that's probably just solder left in there. What I'm gonna do is reheat this and see if I can clean that out because I don't want that in there. All right, that appears to have cleaned it out. You can now see the hole is clean. At least the left one. The right one I'm gonna hit again from the back side. All right, we can't get that out of there, but that's okay. Because what you can do is add new solder. And hopefully it'll mix with that and then we can pull all of it out. And let's have a look there. It would appear that that cleaned it out. All right, let's get these caps put back in place and we'll go and test this. Uh, I'm gonna do the caps off, well, I'm not gonna do them off camera, but I'm gonna speed up the video. All right, so we got the new capacitors right here. Uh, before I install these, just a quick explanation on how to do this correctly. This is the negative side. The longer lead is the positive, and if you look on the board here, you can see that there's a positive marker right here. That means that this is the negative side, so this needs to be put in here. So the large capacitor here is an 820 UF, and I, I just like to push these snug to the board, and then I'll just pull these apart on the back side so it, it somewhat holds it in place for me so I can solder it in. And I'm just going to do this with all of these. So the next one in line is 100 UF, same thing. The positive side is right here. Hold it in place, spread the leads. And this last one right here is a 22 UF capacitor. All right, once you got all those capacitors, which is only three soldered in place, you can snip these off with some snippers or scissors, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna shut off my fume extractor. So I just have a pair of scissors here that I like to use. I'm 
And these won't get as close as I like to get, but it'll be good enough for testing and we can clean them up later. All right, so we can at least test this board. All right, so we got those caps replaced. Now the nice thing about testing this board is all I have to do is grab an AC adapter here. I'm gonna plug it in and I'll show you how to do it with a multimeter from this uh, white connector here. All right, so we got our multimeter here. We got in <clears throat> voltage DC. We have our power switch turned on here. We're gonna plug this in. Now, if we go over to this white connector here, what we should have is after the, the first two pins are five volts and then we have a ground pin. So if we touch the ground pin and we touch one of these first two pins, we should have five volts and we do. So the other thing you can check is the second to last pin, not the very last pin right here, but next to it, we should have 1.28 volts, and we do. Oh, let's show that again. 1.28 volts. So that tells me that this board is now working with these capacitors. Um, I will show it in a game gear because I think people like seeing that to prove that it is working. So give me a moment, and I'll get a game gear set up, and I'll show you that this is working. Actually, the uh, last thing I'm going to test before putting this in the game gear to show this is working is this last pin here should measure 34 volts. So again, let's touch that and then let's touch the ground. Nope, I'm not touching it. There we go, 34 volts. So that proves that this board is now functioning. All right, I got my game gear here and this is really what I want this for because this allows me to plug in the board without it being in the uh, shell. Like so. We're gonna plug this into the AC adapter. And we flip this power switch, it should turn on. And it does. So there you go. There's proof that the power board has been repaired and is success successfully working. All right, guys, that's the video. Just quick and simple on how to repair these. Um, I now have a working board so I can use an AC adapter so I can further diagnose this handheld and hopefully I can figure out the audio problem. Again, if anybody out there knows what it could be and cares to leave a comment, please leave one. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you